World's End Harem is one of the most controversial anime series of this year. The anime is about a world where 99% of the male population has been wiped out, with only one man remaining. He's on a journey to impregnate women to grow the population and save mankind. It's controversial by nature. With its obvious harem elements and edgy, we found some anime with similarities. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm the Definistrator with ES Anime, and now let's get right into it. At number 10, we have Ishizuku Reviewers. Ishizuku Reviewers is another close anime when comparing to Worlds and Harem, more so for its controversial nature. In this anime, the main characters visit brothels and sleep with monster girls from all kinds of races demon girls, elves, slimes, the whole lot. And then they leave reviews of each brothel they visit. It's a fetish type of anime, and everything about it is controversial, which is why there was an outrage during its release in 2020. At number 9, we have Monster Museum. Monster Museum is another known harem anime like High School DxD. It doesn't shy away from going all out with ecchi and fanservice. The main character has fetishes and has a snake girlfriend. As is the case with these anime, the harem indirectly builds and becomes a thing. It's lewd as fuck, and that's why I mention it here. It's one of the best similar anime you can find like Worlds and Harem. At number 8, we have Kanan. Kanan is a bit all the way to the left for comparison, but the core of it is relevant. In this anime, there's an epidemic going on a killer virus. The main character's goal is to put a stop to it. It's a drastically different series for not having ecchi or harem in it, but it's still a good transitioning anime. You get tons of action in this one, and some genuinely good music to go with it. At number 7, we have Kiss X Sis. Kiss X Sis has implied incest and the brother or sister have no problem going there, if you know what I mean. It's an obvious ecchi series, but also harem, the usual mix. It's not similar to Worlds and Harem for surface level reasons, but more for the grimy, lewd content they both have. Not to mention the harem aspect that surrounds it all. It's an easy transition. At number 6, we have Black Bullet. Black Bullet has a similar setting of doom and gloom. It's not just a harem cliche style of setting. Tokyo has a monster known as Gastre, and the Gastre virus kills. It's on an epidemic level. Rentaro Satomi and his initiator are trying to destroy this threat to save the human race, along with many other groups, soldiers, and so on. If you want to transition from something similar on the surface, but not under it, Black Bullet works. There are low-key innuendos that can be annoying, but still similar to the nature of a harem. At number 5, we have High School DxD. High School DxD has a main character who gets lucky and becomes a center of attention. A typical harem cliché. Demon girls who are hotties become part of his life. Or, I should say, he becomes part of theirs. And the anime isn't shy about showing skin. Or in another case, Taking it further, there's no impregnating going on here, but the crux of the anime has similarities, and it's considered a king in the harem genre. At number 4, we have How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord is about Diablo, or I should say an otaku who becomes Diablo, a character in his favorite video game. Being the demon lord Diablo makes him attractive in this new world, and the harem naturally follows. When it comes to ecchi and fanservice, this anime doesn't shy away from going to extremes, or showing skin and other things you can picture in your mind. I'm genuinely surprised that the anime wasn't as awful as I expected it to be when I watched it. At number 3, we have In Another World with My Smartphone. In Another World with My Smartphone is about Mochuzuki Toya, a guy who's reincarnated in another world. He's accidentally killed by God's lightning, and to show forgiveness, God grants him powers and a special smartphone to navigate the new world. The aspect of the main character having God's phone number is hilarious. In this harem, 
Toya's story plays out in a similar to World's End harem, but in an Izaki setting and supernatural abilities, fan service, and etc. At number 2, we have Redo of Healer. It has to be said, Redo of Healer shares similarities with World's End harem, but just in a different style. Redo of Healer is an anime about revenge and the unimaginable trauma the main character is put through. Hence, his thirst for vengeance. Along the way though, he builds a harem of sorts. And sex scenes are common in the anime during Kiaru's journey. It's this element that shares similarities with World's End harem the most. Both are also edgy and controversial as fuck. At number 1, we have The World God Only Knows. The World God Only Knows is an anime about Kema, an introverted main character who loves playing dating sims. He's only into 2D girls and pays no interest to real girls in school or life. But after getting himself caught up in something, life changes a little. He has to kiss girls to save them. And that's where the harem begins. Not as dramatic as World's End harem, but the concepts are similar. Especially from a romance, edgy point of view. Well. That's it for this list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. See you next time.